looks like mountains in the back but that's not mountain those are beautiful clouds uh, in this video I just want to talk about three things that I have noticed that wealthy people do that unwealthy people do not uh, these are three things that rich people do as well things that if rich people did more of they would become wealthy I'm gonna first put a caveat I make a lot of money I do very very well I would not consider myself wealthy uh, I just one of my pet peeves when somebody comes on a video and says here's three tips to become a billionaire are you a billionaire so I'm gonna share with you some things that have made my family a lot of money rooted in a little acronym called RCA. So the very first one is resourcefulness. A lot of people believe that it takes money to make money, right? You can't get ahead in life unless you already have money. You can't make that investment, you can't join that program, etc. because you don't have the funds today. That's a huge lie. Virtually every person that makes money started with no money. One of the things they understand is that money is created in the mind. What I mean by that is that money comes from a great idea. And when you have a great idea, if you turn it into a value exchange, you can start making money. So for instance, producing content on social media that solves people's problems in advance. That doesn't require money, but you do have to have value and you have to have an idea. I didn't have money when I hired a business coach. What I did have was the R, resourcefulness. And I realized that, hey, I don't have money, but maybe MasterCard's got the money. Maybe Visa's got the money. Maybe American Express has got the money and I got a second credit card, I got resourceful so I could gain the help to learn how to launch my business. But I wanna be very clear, I didn't start with money. My bank account was zero, I was living paycheck to paycheck. All right, after rent, car, groceries, supplements, gym membership, heading out on the weekends. There was not extra funds to make the investment. So the very first thing successful people do is they understand that resourcefulness is the key. All right, the next one is connections, right? You need connections, you need people to make money. Now, why do you need that? Because people have knowledge, people have experience, people have wisdom. If you were to come to an event with the idea of doing a, a membership site, you know, let's say for instance, a $30 a month membership site, and you're like, this is what I want to do, I heard it was a great idea. But then you get to an event, there's 300 fitness professionals and they all tell you, don't do that, that's a bad idea. You should start with the high ticket offer because you don't need as many people to make it profitable. Wow, what a great insight. You're about to spend the next year banging your head against the wall to make a $30 a month app or membership site profitable. So we need more connections and we need connections with people that can time collapse your goals. The last thing is ambition. Because if you don't have ambition, you're gonna quit really quickly. And you know, a lot of people, they'll get into something like e-commerce because you know, a lot of people are making money. Those are people that wanna get paid today. If you wanna be wealthy, not just for your own immediate family, but beyond your family, which is something I would love to strive for. You know, we're starting to donate money to Charity Water and have a goal to give $200,000 to them by the end of the year. I have to have an ambition that goes beyond me. Because on the days that the business is hard and you know you get hit with a massive Facebook ads bill and you find out that you weren't profitable, one of your key team members leaves and starts poaching clients. On those days, the only thing that's gonna get you through is ambition and passion for what you're doing. So if you're in an e-com business or doing an Amazon seller business, not to say anything's wrong with that, but if you're not actually passionate about that because you're just trying to get a piece of action today, rather than something in the long term, that's also they're gonna come bite you in the ass. So your ambition is needed to set the standard. Once you set your ambition, you'll only be able to execute your ambition if you have power to match it. But if you have low ambition in the first place, you don't need much power, right? If you have low ambition, you don't need much skill. You don't need much support. You don't need many systems. You don't need great strategies because your ambition is low. In order to become successful, it really comes down to the mindset, resourcefulness, connections, ambition. These are all things we have available to us, right? These things are not limited to certain parts in the world or certain types of people. That's definitely what we've been told. That's definitely a narrative, you know, in the mainstream media and somebody I'm sure in the comments will argue and say differently and we don't have equal opportunities. And I don't know, 
Maybe there's a bit of truth to that, but you're definitely not powerless. And if you believe, believe that, you choose to be a victim. And I don't know how that mindset is serving you. So I, even if I'm wrong, I don't see how <laughs> agreeing with that viewpoint is serving me or gonna help the greater good. So I choose to believe that people do have opportunities. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Let me know what was most helpful for you in the comments below. Good to see you all today. Ciao, ciao.